How's it going? This is the multi-block build for the large boiler. Uh, large boiler has four different flavors. You have your stainless steel, titanium, tungsten steel, and adamantium. Currently, the only one that is really usable is the stainless steel because there isn't a way of heating them past that. Uh, we're using dense burning boxes of the gas variety. And this is the most heat you can get out and the most heat you can get into a large boiler. And it is exactly the amount of heat that is needed to run this boiler. So to build this, you will need one barometer here. You will need nine heat acceptors and 25 dense stainless steel walls. You will also need a way of inputting water or distilled water, distilled water being your best option. That's hence why we have this pipe here. And I forgot to grab my scaffold so I can climb up here. All right, so the barometer will go very center here on the bottom layer and then you will start to build the rest of this it needs to be hollow in the center when you're pairing this up with your turbine however it does not have to be straight as i am building it here it can be off to the side and you can see it just formed because the holes have now formed there. Um, the turbine can accept from any of these front blocks on any of these front blocks. So the sides, the top, the bottom, or the entire face. So if you wanted to see the turbine, you could offset this on the side or something like that. Uh, it does distribute steam or attempts to distribute steam evenly across all of the holes here which you have five of there is one up on the very top right there and as i said you'll need to fill this with distilled water or regular water water being the most efficient Hence why we have a titanium tank over here for our distilled water. And it will put out a good load of steam for you. Uh, you'll get 8,192 steam per tick when running this. It can also be fully automated. I will sneak down here on the elevator and show you. This is what we have been doing to automate hours if you're interested in figuring out what all of this jumbled up pipe mess is you can go back and check out the streams when I get everything completed I will do a little video about it this is my water system here um, we have everything automated so far except for the on off switches currently we're using this to turn them on and then this to turn them off it will eventually be completely automated this will when paired up with the turbine and dynamo put out ev power just over hb level so I hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be glad to answer them. Have a good one.